God, we love you. We declare an everlasting love for you. Declare an everlasting love for you.
soko kwa gaze Deziona Kwe katonda Tuomu kane tusa Tuwane chetibwa Holi polo goma ya yuda Kwe polo goma Enwa deziona Kwe katonda Tuomu kane tusa Tuano buinza Imu semi kona jomu gami Tuane chiti Tuane chiti wa Tuano buinza Tuana Tuano mate Yona bibyo Yona bibyo Imu semi kona jomu gami Tuana Tuane chiti Desi 
You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh. Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, hey, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, hey, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega, you are Yahweh. My beautifier, you've taken away my shame, you've taken away my pain, you've made my life so beautiful. My beautifier, you've taken away my shame, you've taken away my pain. You've made me just like you, my beautifier. You've taken away my shame. You've taken away my pain. You've made my life so beautiful, my beautifier. You've taken away my shame. You've taken away my pain You've made me just like you Just like you Ooh. Just like you Ooh. Just like you Taken away my shame, you've made me just like you. You are Yahweh, hey, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, hey, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. great yes you are holy one you walked upon the sea you raised the day you reign in majesty mighty God everything written about you is great. You are great, yes, you are. Holy one, you walked upon the sea, you raised the dead, you reign in majesty, mighty God. Everything written about you is great. You are great, yes, you are. Holy one, you walked upon the sea, you raised the dead, you reign in majesty. Mighty God, everything written about you is great. 
You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. Everything written about you is great. The when na kowo la mukama yam pulira naite inyalie ngano mwa te anziruka yewuli re dobo ziriange gari kabira wala mubusiwa when na kowo la mukama koro yam pulira. Kola mukama yampulira naite binyale ngandumwa te anziruka yawulire dobo siriange ngali kabira wala mugusiba wenna kola mukama Koro yam pulira, when na kowo la mukama yam pulira, na ite inyari enganu mwa te ansiruka, ya ulire dobo ziriange. Gali kabira wala mubuziva Wena kowo la mukama Koro ya mpulida Ne kute kumukama Pulire mbu ya gekunta Ne sizo mwana gwendiga Anake sobu tebwange Ne kute kumukama Pulire mbu ya gekunta Ne sizo mwana gwendiga Anake sobu te wange Ne kute kumukama Pulire mbu ya gekunta Ne sizo mwana gwendiga Anake sobu te wange Anake sobu te wangeze Anake sobu te wange Anake sobu te wangoyo Anake sobu te wange Ne kute kumukama Pulire mbu ya gekunta Nesi zomwana gwendiga Anake sobu te wange Ne kute kumukama Pulire mbu ya gekunta Nesi zomwana gwendiga Anake sobu te wange Anake sobu te wangeze Anake sobu te wange Anake sobu te wangoyo Anake sobu te wange Ne kute kumukama Pulire mbu ya gekunta Ne sizo mwana gwendiga Anake sobu te wange Hallelujah ya nidi zo mwana wendiga mkasera kanu Welcome the Lamb of God at this moment. The one who died on the cross. He was looking for your life. The one who was undressed. That you may not be ashamed. The one who was stricken and he bled. He was, he was saving your blood. Welcome him at this moment. Welcome him in your house. Welcome him in your house. 
your marriage. Welcome him in your children. Welcome him in your home. Welcome him in your business. The Bible says yesterday, today, forever. He is still the same. And we decree as moving in Capernaum and Galilee. It can still move even today. The word that became flesh. And we beheld his glory. We want to see your glory today. In our marriages. In our children. In our houses. In our homes. We want to see your glory. Can you move God of Israel? May the sons of men see you. May the sons of men touch you. May you become invisible. May you become tangible. May you become visible. Lord God of Israel, we welcome you today. Jehovah Rapha who provides the one who opened the heavens and manna rain down today, O Lord. May you open God of Israel the gates of heaven the windows of heaven that our knees will rain down Lord God of Israel many are here today many are praying but their heaven was like brands but God who provides and you soften the heavens today and the angels that Jacob saw are descending and ascending they are ascending and ascending and descending May you descend and ascend for a package. Today, O oh Lord God of Israel, God who provides, you who drew water from the rock. Today, O oh Lord, may you bring forth the, the provision in the dry places. May you bring forth provision even in the hard places. May you draw out O Lord even from the rock today many are on their jobs they have not been paid many God of Israel are looking for something to drink and to eat but, but today O oh Lord may you draw out provision from something that is difficult may you draw out provision from something that is hard May you draw out something provision. Lord God of Israel You who multiplied fish And multiplied brain Many are praying today they, What they have is not enough We are asking for the anointing of multiplication That which multiplied bread and, and fish To multiply tuition today To multiply rent today to multiply salaries today Lord God of Israel many are praying but what they have is little but today oh Lord we are seeking for the anointing for multiplication Lord God of Israel may you multiply God who never changes may you multiply God who never fails you Lord who provides Nothing is too difficult for you. You who provided a sacrifice for mountain Moriah. You provided a sacrifice. Abraham had no sacrifice. And his son was saved from death. If you can provide a sacrifice today, oh Lord, you're providing that which you fear to us from men. You're providing providing that which will fear to us some people. May you provide God of Israel and we will worship you. May you provide God of Israel and we will praise you. May you provide God who never fails. May you provide God Almighty. May you provide God of glory. We come to you today as we ask for your provision. We come to you 
today desiring to see you we come to you today desiring to touch you may you provide oppression provide God Almighty provide God of heaven and earth provide Father who never changes who never fails may you provide oppression may you provide Lord Jesus who is like you God of Israel who is like you God Almighty who is like you God of glory may you provide Jesus that those who are looking for those but Paul said a mighty door a mighty door is open unto me Lord may you provide those who are speaking to every gate of the spirit that is closing outside our house closing unto our homes closed unto our marriages we said be you lifted up you ancient gates because the king of glory is about to come in Lord you said in your words you will build your church and the guests the guests of hell will not prevail against it today oh Lord every gate the closing away our destiny every gate the closing of our wealth every gate our finances we command it be you lifted up be open be open to stand upon your word you say in Isaiah 16 and verse 11 that our gates shall be open continually today oh Lord we command every gate that was closed be open you will not close the gate Lord you promised us that our gates shall be open even the wealth of the Gentiles come to us Lord God of Israel every gate every gate closing away our finances closing away our prosperity closing away the prosperity of our children every gate we are put in we put on the anointing of Samson that he put on that put at the gate of the Philistines today oh Lord we are put every gate we are put every gate of the Philistines we are put in in the name of Jesus we say be you lifted up be you lifted up the ancient gate be you lifted up we are put in we and we say this year we are entering in where we are supposed to enter in we are entering in where we are supposed to enter in Lord God of Israel whatever is standing in our way we command it to be removed by the presence of the Lord Lord God of Israel your word says that the seas saw you and the fled Jordan saw you and the fled even mountains saw you and the leap now every mountain that is standing in our way as we, we, we hinder you that hinders us to go ahead to command you to leave we say be get away Jesus you said in your word if you have a small faith we shall command mountains to get away of our way whatever has been hindering you to go forward we rebuke you we say be you removed in the name of Jesus and you the mountain be removed 
removed. Now all the sources. And you mountain. Genda. Be removed. Now all the sources. And you mountain. Genda. Be you removed. Tuye gira mbisubizo bya fe. Tuye into our promises. Tuye gira mukatonda cha chegekete. Tuye into what God has ordained. Tuye gira mufumbo wa fe. Tuye into our marriages. Tuye gira makaga fe. Tuye into our homes. Tuye gira muli mukamache atua. Tuye into whatever God gave us. Tuye gira muli nyari ayesha. Tuye into the rain in the name of Jesus. Tuye gira muli nyari ayesha. Tuye into the rain in the name of Jesus. Tuye gira muli nyari ayesha. Tuye into the rain in the name of Jesus. Tuye gira muli nyari ayesha. Entering in the name of Jesus. We enter in the name of Jesus. The Lord God of Israel. We thank you. For open doors. You're the one who says you are the door. Lord God of Israel. To get a speed. And to every door. That we are closed. We are opening. We are opening. Because the chief of the doors. Has arrived in the name of Jesus, and you are entering in. In wherever you are rejected, wherever they don't need you anymore, wherever you thought will not go, God who opens doors has come in the name of Jesus. And today we come to you, O Lord, um, uh, humbling ourselves before you, welcoming Jehovah, God who heals. Lord, you said in your word, you are the Lord of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for me? Lord, at this moment, may you stretch forth your hand. You say that your hand is not too short to say, but you cannot deliver us. May you stretch out your hand that saves unto every seed. Whoever has a problem, whoever is ailing, the balm of Gilead I call upon you in my house the balm of Gilead I call upon you in my house the balm of Gilead I call upon you in my home the balm of Gilead I call upon you in my house Lord God of Israel may you deliver may you heal at this moment may you deliver and heal at this moment you who sent for of his one and heal all our diseases may you move God of Israel may you move God Almighty may you send forth your one heal all our diseases 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 let your one is the sword of the spirit let it separate us. Let it cut tumors from us. Let it cut diseases from us. Let it cut cancer from us. Let it cut pressure from us. May you send forth your word to heal all our diseases. May you send forth your word to heal all our diseases. May you send forth your word and heal all our diseases. Send forth your word. To heal all our diseases, the balm of Gilead. Raise your voice as you welcome him at this moment. The balm of Gilead. The balm of Gilead. Tell him the balm of Gilead. I welcome you today. I welcome you in my house. I welcome you in my marriage. I welcome you in my children. May you heal, O Lord. Even those diseases that are shaming. If you heal the woman with an issue of blood. You can heal the diseases we fear to mention. You can heal the shaming diseases. Even those recurring sicknesses. Lord, if you heal the man. Who sat at the pool. More than 30 years. Seated on the pool. He was crippled. Seated on the pool. He was crippled. Lord, there are those who are praying today. They have recurring diseases in the house. They are recurring diseases in their homes. They are recurring diseases in their marriages. They are recurring sicknesses in their children. They are recurring diseases. God who heals. God who heals. God who delivers. May you heal today. May you heal today. May you heal, O priest. May you heal, God of Israel. 
you send forth your word and deliver us. Send forth your word to heal us. Send forth your word. May you heal, O Lord. May you heal God Almighty. May you heal God of heaven and earth. And Lord God of Israel. If you heal leprosy, there are diseases that have felt the sounds of men. Even diseases that have felt doctors. Today, O oh Lord, your delivery. Today, O oh Lord, you're moving among the structures. Today, O oh Lord, you are healing. May you move as you deliver. May you move as you heal. May you move as you restore. May you move God of Israel as you heal us, O oh Lord. Heal our parents. Heal our children. Heal our siblings. Heal our families. Heal God of Israel. Heal our homes. Move God of Israel as you heal. Deliver, O oh Lord. May you deliver God of Israel. Deliver God of heaven and earth. May you deliver God of heaven and earth. I will worship you, Jesus. I will praise you, Father. I will thank you, God Almighty. I will thank you, God of heaven. I will thank you, Father, who never changes. I will thank you, Father, who never fails. Deliver Jesus. May you set free, God Almighty. May you deliver, O Father. May you deliver, God of heaven. We will worship you, Jesus. We will praise you, Father. We will thank you, O Priest. But nothing is impossible. May you deliver Jesus. May you deliver our Lord. Now we welcome the Prince of Peace. We welcome Jehovah Shalom, the one who gives peace. We decree peace in our houses, peace in our marriages, peace in everything of ours. God, you said in your word, you give peace. Not as the world gives, but oh Lord, you give peace that passes all our understanding. Today, oh Lord, we may we meet your peace because it's you who gives peace. Even in the midst of the storm, it's you who gives peace. Lord, who, you who sleeps in the midst of the storm, you are the one who is seated in us. We are asking for peace. Even angels sang that peace on earth, Lord God of Israel. We are asking for peace because it's what brought you. Many who are sick of hypertension, many cannot sleep. But Lord, your word says that your loved ones you give them sleep. We are asking for peace that you give to Solomon. We welcome your peace in our houses. Peace in our homes. Peace in our marriages. Lord, you give Solomon peace. He arose and said, It is well with me. He said, I have no peace. Lord, you said, With the ways of man, please you. You even called the enemy to be at peace with him. Lord God of Israel is a peace that we are asking for. Is a peace that we are asking for. That we may serve him. Lord God of Israel Solomon said he has given me peace all around. Therefore I will serve him. Therefore I will build a temple for him. May you give us peace on Lord that we may serve him. May you give us peace, O oh Lord, that we may build a kingdom for you. May you give us peace, O oh Lord, to we drive out every sickness caused by worry, all the diseases caused by hypertension, caused by 
her caused by her disease we drive them away in the name of Jesus we drive them out in the name of Jesus now we decree peace that passes all understanding that we decree today the prince of peace cause peace alone may you bring peace God Almighty may you bring peace God of heaven and earth and Lord at this moment we welcome Jehovah Nisi God the fighter we welcome you today you who said that vengeance is yours we welcome you may you hold shield and back down and fight for our houses fight for our marriages fight for our children fight for our ministries may you hold shield and back down and fight God of Israel may you hold shield and back down and fight God Almighty may you hold shield and back down and fight God of heaven may you fight Lord Jesus may you fight God Almighty may you fight O Lord you are called the mighty man of war you are called the mighty man of war you are called the commander of the host of heaven you told us the battle is not ours the battle is mine now we awaken you the mighty man of war the mighty one and the terrible one may you arise O Lord and fight for us may you hold shield and buckler and fight God Almighty and fight God of heaven and earth you who said that vengeance is yours Lord we come to you to fight a spiritual battle we come up to the mountain of Moses God you say every time Moses lifted up his hand Israel will prevail at this moment O Lord as you were spiritual warfare as we raise our hands our children are overcoming our houses are overcoming our businesses are overcoming Lord you are the one who goes for us in battle Lord you are the one who wrestles with the enemy as you who raises a banner of victory Lord God of Israel we know we wrestle not against flesh and blood we wrestle against principalities we wrestle against powers of darkness we raise against principalities and heavenly places today oh lord we come to you say may you arise may your enemies be scattered may you arise may your enemies be scattered lord we decree a scattering in the camp of the enemy as they be weak let there be a scattering as they make enchantment let there be a scattering as a plan to do let them not agree as a plan to do evil let them not agree as a plan to do evil to create a scattering in the camp of the wicked he promised us that our enemies will be his enemies to create a scattering and we speak and we decree in the name of Jesus when they try to come against us using one way they will scatter in seven ways as they scatter they create a scattering as they sit on satanic altars they create a scattering as they be weak they create a scattering as they plan to do evil they create a scattering reverend they create a scattering they create a scattering in the house of the wicked they create a scattering on the satanic altars they pray as scattering they pray as heavy prayed divide their tongues confuse their words as a plan to do evil let them not agree raise the contenders among the saints raise the Jonathans raise the Jonathans who refuse to do what they are told to do raise the Rubens who will not agree with them we have seen you do it we have seen you confuse their words we have seen you divide them divide them God of Israel divide them God of mind divide them God of heaven let them not be angry 
Jesus. The poor rich in every grave that is open, waiting to swallow us, waiting to swallow our love to us. The blood of Jesus in them. God, you say the grave has grieved, but today, the blood of Jesus in them. Let it be filled with the blood of Jesus. Let it be filled with the blood of Jesus. Let it be filled with the blood of Jesus. Let it be filled with the blood of Jesus. You who were was given the keys of the grave and death. Let us every grave that is open, waiting to swallow our love. Let us every grave, let us every grave, let us every grave, Close it, God of Israel. We will worship you, Lord. We worship you, God of Israel. Oh, God of Israel. David is praying. So what shall he profit you? We go down to the grave. We go down to the grave. We go down to the grave. We worship you, Lord God of Israel. Give us life. We will worship you. It will not profit you. We will go down to the grave. Give us life. That we may worship you. God you select everything that has bread praise me Lord may you give us bread give our children bread give our houses bread Lord I pray that you may give us bread that we may praise you give us bread give us bread give us bread that we may praise you give us bread give us bread give us bread that we may praise you we will praise you Jesus we will praise you God Almighty we will praise you God of heaven and earth Lord, we pray for your protection. You say that if you don't watch over a city, the watchmen do it in vain. Lord God of Israel, today, we remind you that this is your word. Isaiah 58, in verse 8, you say, or you say, that your glory, shall be our rare God. Lord God of Israel, we decree your glory to protect us from the rear. Let it protect our children. Protect us from the invisible enemy. Your glory, that cloud that moved behind Israel and blinded the eyes of the wicked one. Lord God of Israel, let it go behind us and, and shadow us that the enemy will not see us. He will pursue us. But his way shall be dark. His, his way shall be slippery. Lord God of Israel, today, oh Lord, God of heaven and earth, your glory, let it shadow us. Let it hide us. And be our rare God. Lord, as mountains surround Jerusalem, may you surround us, oh Lord. Surround our houses. Surround our children. Surround the ministry. Surround us, O Lord. As mountains. Surround Jerusalem. Surround us, God Almighty. Surround us, God Almighty. Surround us, God of heaven and earth. And Lord, you promised us. You'll be a wall of fire. That surrounds us. We decree a wall of fire. We surround our houses. Surround our children. Surround our marriages. Surround everything of ours. A wall of fire. Whatever pursues us that is of the devil will fall into the consuming fire. And that is you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God Almighty. You create a blessing in your house. Lord God of Israel, we thank you for the blessing that has no sorrow. God, you say, the house of the righteous shall be blessed. Lord, we thank you for the blessing that has no sorrow, that has no crying, that has no tears, that has no worry. And we decree we shall be above and not be near you. As you promised the children of Israel, we shall be blessed as we come in. We shall be blessed as we go out. And Lord God of Israel, we shall be blessed as we go out. 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 We shall be blessed as we go
shall be blessed in the city. We shall be blessed in the country. Lord God of Israel, we pray again. Lord, our storehouses shall be Food. And we pray again, God of Israel. God of heaven and earth. Do not inflict on us the disease. You inflicted on Egyptians. There will be no barren among us. No turn animal. No a human being. Not anything. We thank you, Jesus. Because all these things are for your children. We pray in the name of our Lord Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We're going to end today's um, prayer session by building our altars and sacrificing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. We cannot come into the presence of God just to shout. Elijah shouted. Elijah called upon the God that answers by fire. But he still put a bull on the altar. When you have a chance to dialogue with God, build an altar. Sacrifice. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All your sacrifices are going to Karamoja. The word of God came to Cornelius. And he said, Your prayers and the giving of arms have come up to God as a memorial. Hallelujah. Amen. So today, your prayers plus the giving of alms no, no, are coming up to God as a memorial. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's see what's happening in Karamoja. As you can see, we are going to pray. That is food. It is not soil. Yes, we harvested. We packed the food in bags. And gave it to the poor. Hallelujah. We planted that food. That we harvested. And right now we are planting again. We are sowing again. So all the money you give today will go to to plant to buying seeds so that we can sow in a wide acreage. Hallelujah. Amen. So as you build your altar, you know the sacrifice invokes the spirit on the altar. That is why when Elijah sacrificed, he was able to see the God that answers by fire. When Elijah built, when Abraham built an altar and sacrificed. God still came down as a fire. So if you want to see the God that answers by fire, intervene in your needs. It is important to build an altar and sacrifice. Hallelujah. I know there are some who are giving their tithes, their offerings. And their thanksgiving offerings. Let's, let's pray. The number is on the screen. For those of you who are giving without. Never come into the presence of God. And just pray and walk away. Just remember the men of old in the Bible. Remember Abraham. Remember Jacob. When God spoke to them. When they spoke to God. When they had a dialogue with God. They built an altar. They sacrificed. The prostitute he came to the feet of Jesus. She poured an alabaster jar. At the feet of Jesus. She didn't even pray. She didn't even talk. 
but the spirit of God was invoked and Jesus came through for her and she became a history maker her, her, her sins were forgiven immediately so when you have a chance to have audience with God always build an altar always sacrifice hallelujah Amen. so the number is on the screen let's pray Father in heaven we want to thank you for the opportunity to build our altars and to sacrifice. Father, we have prayed and now let our prayers and the giving of arms come up to you as a memorial. As we sacrifice today, we want to see the God that answers by fire. The God that Elijah saw. The God that Abraham saw. That is the God that we would like to see. And Father, Father, today we pray one more time that for those of us who are giving in tears, may we return bearing sheaves of joy. And Father, for those of us who are giving in payment, may we reap a hundredfold. Father, as we tithe, open the windows of heaven and rebuke the devourer for our sake. Father, as we give to the poor. As this seed falls to the ground, multiply it. May men give back unto us good measure. Press down. Shaken together. Shall men give unto our bosoms. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hechitiwa chideri yesu kubanga ye murunji atuade ebirunji bichi ebase bwe mukama tajulu kukaichitiwa chitiwa chideri yesu wachi kubanga ye murunji atuade ebirunji bichi welcome all of you to today's lunch hour. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Uh, we are going to look at um, we have been looking at the functions of the Holy Spirit and we will be continuing with the functions of the Holy Spirit tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. But today, we are going to look at one of the hindrances of our Christian walk. And that hindrance is regret. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to look at regret. 
and how we can avoid regret and why regret is not worth it. Hallelujah. Amen. Father in heaven, one more time, I present myself as a vessel willing to be used of you. I pray that if there is anything in me that is more of me that I will decrease right now even as you increase. Anoint my tongue like the pen of a ready writer for clarity of speech so that no one will live the same way they can. And Satan, I warn you that you do not have a hold over the congregation this afternoon. As your word goes forth today, Lord, to those that are bound, may it be delivered. To those that are hurting and sorrowful, may it be glad tidings. To those that are sick, may it be the healing balm of Gilead. In the name of Jesus, I have prayed. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. John chapter 11, verse 26. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary was sitting in the house. Now Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us stop there. Katukomao. Let us go to verse 38. Then Jesus again groaning in himself came to the tomb. It was a cave and the stone lay against it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of who, of him who was dead, said to him, Lord, by this time there is a stench. For he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Hallelujah. Amen. There are many Christians today who are like Martha. You look back at the past and you regret. You say, if only. Martha said to Jesus, if only you had been here. If only you had been here, my brother would not have died. Regret is a hindrance to our Christian walk. We cannot change what has already happened. What happened, happened. Those who wronged you, wronged you. Those who took away from you, took away from you. Those who hurt you, hurt you. But today, it is a new day. And that is why Paul said, forgetting the things that are past, I push forward to the mark of higher calling. There is a day to forget and move on. Every time you move in regret, you, you, you hinder your progress. You hinder what God would have done for you. There is a reason for everything. And the Bible in the book of Romans Romans chapter 8 verse 20 says and we know that for those who love God all things work together for good. I don't know what what happened to you happened. I don't know what happened to you happened. But God has a reason why he permitted it to, be, to happen. And he said 
said that all things work together for the good of they that believe today we are going to drive out for good the situation and the, and the weight and the demon of regret we are going to cast him far away that we may move forward I don't know why but I feel echoes anyway. I don't know. I don't know who is echoing, whether it is her or me. Hallelujah. We are going to drive it behind us and we shall move forward. I don't know why you are born where you were born. I don't know why you grew up from where you grew up from. I don't know what they did to you. But brethren, leave it unto the Lord. There is something new that God is preparing to do in your life. But to regret causes that new thing to, to delay Jesus arrives in Lazarus' home. Lazarus was dead. But Jesus knew what he was doing. He knew, he knew what he permitted Lazarus to die. He knew what he why he delayed. In fact, the Bible even shows him saying, I will not go. And the moment Lazarus, Lazarus is pronounced dead, that is when Jesus decided to go. So, whatever you have been through, God knew what he was up to. Regretting will not change it, and regretting will not push you forward. When you look at the people in the Bible, who refuse to regret like Joseph you discover that they are the most progressive people when Joseph's brothers sold him he refused to regret he landed at Potiphar's house he started on a new page he, be, he became the most hard working worker instead of moving in regret Joseph worked hard Joseph went forward Potiphar promoted him to the highest Rank in his house. But Martha, because she's in so much regret, even when Jesus is telling her, Yes, I delayed, but you can still remove the stone. She's busy telling Jesus, You, are, you delayed, the body is already smelling, she's hindering the miracle because of regret. There are many people who who have hindered their miracles because of regret. You regret the person you married and yet you can make them better. You regret the children you have and yet there is still room to improve them. You regret your workplace and yet you can even have a side hustle and, 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 and enjoy both jobs. Today we rebuke any regret in your life because regret will hinder your progress. Martha refused to remove the stone. What, what she enjoyed was to regret. My Lord, you're so, you delayed. If you were here, they're telling her, remove the stone. They let them remove the stone by saying, My master, you delayed now, he is thinking. 
regret because you will hinder you from hearing the voice of the Lord because that which you lost is dead but today God is showing you something new and he wants you to move on rather live alone regret move on and go forward God has something new for you somebody you are watching me maybe you are a woman you are regretting your marriage the man is stingy the man is adulterous you say how did I come in this place how did I enter into this situation you have regretted over the years brethren there is nothing you can do about it arise and look for jobs and make your own money and buy your own land and bring in Jesus Yes, make Jesus be your husband and begin to enjoy Jesus stop closing yourself in a bedroom and start regretting every time you regret you delay your breakthrough the children of Israel God took them out of Egypt when they reached the wilderness when they became hungry a little they began to regret say why did Moses bring us this far for us to die hunger from here if we only go back to slavery in Egypt we ate meat we are, we are, we are, slave, we are slaves we are in bondage at least we ate meat can you imagine preferring meat to, 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 to preferring meat to bondage preferring bondage to meat preferring Preferring, yes, preferring bondage because of meat. Don't delay your breakthrough with, with, with regret. When Joseph met his brothers, they thought Joseph was still living in regret. But he told them, no, you meant it for evil. But God meant it for good. There are many things that have been done to you that were meant for evil. But God will turn them around for good. Don't regret them. I look back to some of the things I regret and I realize they have made me a strong person. They made me a fighter. They made me a prayer warrior. So I don't regret whatever the devil meant for bad. God turned it out into God. He made me a better person because those things happened there are people who are watching today you learned more from your experience you learn to fast you learn to pray some of you learned to go into the presence of God some of you learned not to trust man I'm, I'm one of them. And the Bible says, Cast is he who puts his trust in man. Whatever has happened to you all along, even if it is bad, you realize why it happened. Joseph, Joseph came a time and he realized the reason, the reason why his brothers sold him. Because if they hadn't sold him, he wouldn't have arrived or reached where he was. Brethren, stop regretting. 
Listen to what Jesus is saying today. Jesus stood before Martha and told her, Martha, let them remove the stone. Martha was still in regrets. We called you the other day. We sent you a message the other time. You did not come on time. Oh, this man is thinking. Yes, he is thinking. Now, yes, we in a direction. Jesus is giving you a new direction. Every time you regret, you cannot come out of the old to enter into the new. Every time you regret, you stay in the old. Whether they left you, whether they ashamed you, whether your husband mistreated you, whether the children ran away from home. Jesus is saying a word today. Take a body of juice. Put aside regret. Oh, we did what the Lord is saying. Oh, we did it. Chakugam. And hear what He's telling you. What we chintu e chipia chayagalo kugam. There's something new that He wants to tell you. There's a, 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 a scripture. It's in the book of Ecclesiastes. If they can put it on the screen, it says, "Say, say not." Bible gama mumula mumubuli zinti togamba. Why were the former days better than this? For it is not from wisdom that you ask this. He, that person was regretting. He said that the, the days that have passed we are better. These, these ones are difficult. In Ecclesiastes 7 verse 10. But the God is telling him you're not talking like the wise. You've not spoken like a wise person. You are regretting. You're saying the times that we are in are hard. Those that are former were better. Brethren, do not even regret where you are now. If Jesus did not regret the cross, he told them, Lord, just take away this pain. But he did not regret the cross. You should not also regret where you are. Where you are is not where you're going to die from. God has put you where you are. That you may stand, you begin from there. And go to another place. Do you know that David was a messenger? David was a messenger. His father sent him to get to take bread to his brothers who were in, in the army. He had no, he had no owner. His brothers were the ones who were honorable. He told them take, he told him take this small bread. This one was the other one's servant. The Lord had put the Lord had put them there for a reason. And God took him to the battle for a reason. That he may see Goliath. And hit Goliath. Israel would know that he is a mighty warrior. That Israel would know that he is worthy to be the king. God has put you where you are for a reason. Where you are, God has put you there so that you may begin. Do not regret where you are because if you regret where you are, you run away from where you are. And miss your time of visitation. Do you know that Joseph was in prison? Was in prison. Do you know that Joseph was in prison? 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 If Joseph had, Joseph had regretted prison, he would have committed suicide. But he was there. Because he had been strategically put. Strategically placed. To meet the individual who would open the door to him. The door to greater heights. Do not regret where God has put you. And there are people who are looking for the place that you are. Make use of it. 
It may not appear as what you expected. You know what? What causes regret is because our expectations are let down. Our expectations are so high. And then we end up, you know, with less than what we expected. But learn to use the platforms where you find yourself for the for 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 for, 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 for you know for for the for the for for, 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 for the best. So Joseph began to interpret dreams. So Joseph began to interpret dreams. Joseph grew closer to God. Some people have found themselves in places of loneliness. People have abandoned you. They've walked away from you. They've blocked their phones. Regretting is not going to unblock anybody's phone. Listen to the direction of Jesus. Draw closer to him. Joseph drew closer to Jesus. And he began to hear. Because Jesus is the word. He began to hear. What people's dreams, what people's dreams meant. And he began to interpret those dreams. He did not waste that time in prison. Every time you live in regret, you waste time. It's surprising how much time goes. Yesterday I didn't come for lunch hour. I was prepared and wanting to do certain things for myself. When I saw the lunch hour tuned in, the devil said, Hey, hey, I wish you went. The time I was spent cleaning my house and preparing myself, praying and reading the word, reviving myself. The devil was telling me, You see, you delayed and you remained here. I also say I'm also lazy. Every time you regret, you become stagnant. Every time the children of Israel regretted, they just wandered around the, the, the wilderness. That's why their journey became longer. Because it was full of mumbling and regret. Today, let us drive away regret and move forward. Nothing happens by mistake in the kingdom of God. We are where we are because God willed it. We are where we are because God chose to. We have seen the things we have seen because God allowed it. Job's wife lived in regret of God because of what had happened to Job. But Job refused to regret. Even when his skin was peeling off, he said, I will not regret my relationship with God. He said, I know that my Redeemer lives. Do not regret where you are. Instead of regretting, Joseph sought God. And eventually, he established a relationship with someone who recommended him to Pharaoh. And he reached his destiny. Today, may we stop moving in regret. Now, there is regretting evil. That is what God wants us to do. The Bible says, for godly grief produces a repentance. 
which leads to salvation. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 10. It leads to salvation instead of regret. The evil thing. Even, even God regretted man when man sinned. But you should not stop at regretting. The Bible says repent. Welcome salvation. Let it be a godly grief. But most of us are regretting circumstances. You regret your background. You regret, I'm sure Esther would have regretted being an orphan. But if she had not been an orphan, she would not have ended up in the palace of King Ahasuerus. The thing that you regret today may be the very thing that is opening the door to great heights. Look at the story of Naomi and Ruth. Naomi stood before her daughters-in-law. And she said, gone are the good times. I'm too old now. I can no longer give you a husband. You stay here. Don't even follow me. But her daughter-in-law, Ruth, Lucy, refused to regret. She said, no, I will cling to you. Your God shall be my God. Your people shall be my people. People will say a lot of things to cause you to regret. They'll cause you to regret your marriage. They'll cause you to regret your children. They'll cause you to regret your, 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 your everything, your, your, your business. The ministry. The ministry. But if you can be like Ruth and say, I will not regret. Because even the thing that you regret had some good in it. And because she did not regret. She was walking with somebody who was filled with regret. Naomi, when she arrived yeah. in Judah, people welcomed her as Naomi. And she said, don't even call me Naomi because God has dealt bitterly with me. But Ruth refused to regret. And because of that, she was able to hear the voice from her altar who was Naomi. She was able to hear the voice of God and she was able to land herself into a new marriage and even have a child. Today, may we cast out regret. Regret blocks the voice of God. It blocks the direction of God. Martha is still muttering to Jesus. Eh, you came late. He's thinking. If you had been here, instead of listening to the new direction. That which happened to you happened. That which they did to you, they did it to you. But the world does not end at that. God is still speaking. God is still doing great things. Forget the former things. Enter into something new in the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't regret. How can you get into a new relationship when you are still holding on to the old? Regretting the time you wasted. This man wasted my time. He even had children with me. This man did not marry me. This man didn't do this and that and that. He didn't do that. But don't you know 
that God can still do a new thing. Don't you know that he says forget the former things. Behold I do a new thing. Don't you know that God still has direction. Don't you know that God can still feed those children. Don't you know that God can still give you a new relationship? Cast out regret. God is speaking and there are many people who have failed to hear him because they are living in regret. The Bible says he who begins to plow and looks back should not even is not fit to serve in the kingdom of God. You began going forward. You are now plowing. At the same time, you're looking at what is not perfect from behind. The Bible says you are not even fit for the kingdom of God. Our God is a God of the name. Today, Let's cast out every regret. And the worst regret is the regret when you are doing nothing. Somebody sits there and said, you see me here? I'm the one who did that. I'm the one who built it. Now, if you left, live for good. If you still want to go back, die go back. If it's you who left by yourself, they didn't cast you out. You can even return. But if you know that you cannot, forget, leave them up to God. When you live in regret, it hinders, your, your, it hinders progress. I know so many people who have failed to do the things they set out to do. Because they are saying, so-and-so did not hold my hand. So-and-so lied to me. So-and-so say they will give me money. Okay, let's say they lied to you. Are you the first one to be lied to? Forget your pity party. And move on. God has ordained someone to hold your hand. God has ordained someone to bless you. God has ordained someone to open a door. God said to Paul, Paul, do not be afraid. I have many people in this city. God has so many people. But you cannot see them when you're seated in regrets. Ruth refused to regret yet she was moving with someone who, had, who was full of regrets. What causes us to regret are your people. Somebody tells you you wasted all this time. You would have married a long time ago. You would have gotten married a long time ago. You would have had this. The one telling you all that, do they have whatever they are telling you? Why do they want to see the brightness from you? Stop your pity party. And stop regretting. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's move on. Jesus is saying something. Yes, so I Martha was considering the shame. She was considering the embarrassment. We prayed and they knew we are your friend, but the man did not come. 
Now you delay. See the man is thinking. He is thinking. Jesus is saying something. When things go wrong, when life falls below your expectation, Jesus does not stop giving direction. He continues to give direction. What is the new thing that God is doing? And there is no one in life who has had everything they want. If everyone was there to be crying all the time, nothing would have moved on. The Bible says a righteous man falls seven times. Things hit us and we fall. And we raise again. And we don't, we regret the fall. And we, we bind our wounds. And we move on and go ahead. In the name of Jesus. Even the people you look at and you admire. They have gone through a regrettable situation. The difference between you and them. Is they do not carry the regret on their faces. They have learned to maneuver. Through this situation. They have learned that in prison in a place where you are stuck you can't go forward financially you can't even go backward in prison like Joseph you can seek God when everyone has deserted you you can look for an anointing when no one is with you anymore you can count on God to hold your hand And so they are not living in regret. And the agenda of Satan is to hold you captive with memories. And that's why we cast down every imagination and anything that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. Everything in your mind, the agenda of Satan is to hold you captive with memories. There are trips that I have made that have been regrettable. There are places that I have ministered in that have been regrettable. I, I faced regrettable circumstances. But, but, Kubanga and Tusa want to never vuma, Techiti, or Volina Vumira Katu, Techigas and Siganda Kudamoko Volid. Just because I reach a place and someone abused me from a pulpit does not mean I will not preach again. Nida. No way. It has happened. But what is Jesus saying? Martha, Jesus is talking to you. He said, All has happened. But there is something new. But I want to do. I know that you're regretting. But first, forget the dead. And remove the stone. I don't know what regret you are carrying today. A broken relationship. No one is worth that. No one is worth that. I was looking online. I think two days ago. And I think I saw someone. I think he was a Zambian artist. Who had just committed suicide because he claims he married the wrong woman. He married a woman who, who was committing adultery in his house. No one is worth 
your death. And especially not an adulterer. Because most probably they will even die before you. Why would you kill yourself? Because of regret. Do you know? That God can do something new. God can do something powerful. In just an instant. When Martha stopped regretting. And she listened to Jesus. What she thought was dead and gone forever. Jesus. Yes. Called it out. Today Jesus is here. There are circumstances you have regretted. But what you thought was regrettable. Jesus is about to turn it around. He's about to show you what it, why it happened. He said to Martha, I told you, if you believed, you would see the goodness of God. You would see the glory of God. In one instant, because Martha stopped regretting. She saw the glory of God. You are about to see the glory of God in the things that you have been, the, the things you found regrettable. You are about to stand up like Joseph and say, oh, whatever you meant for evil, God has turned it out for good. You are about to look into the eyes of those who walked away from you and say I listened to Jesus and he opened a new chapter in my life I listened to Jesus I created, he created a new path in my life I listened to Jesus and he showed me something new Some of us are busy regretting. And we don't know that Jesus has already come into our homes. And the new thing has arrived. When you are regretting, you will fail to see the new. When Martha stopped regretting, she saw a situation made new. She saw a situation reborn. Today, there is a new situation in your life. Jesus is giving you new direction. Jesus is speaking to you again. Jesus is showing you a new level. Mary's brother now had a testimony. Martha's brother had, had a testimony. There was a new testimony in their house. There was a new level. What you found regrettable, Jesus can bring something new from it. With a new testimony. With a new name. The spirit of depression is born out of regret. And there are many people who are moving around with a spirit of regret. And I was once a candidate for that. I, 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 I was once a very regrettable person. Now I use regrettable plat re regrettable situations as a platform to go to a better place. Hallelujah. Amina. Like Joseph, I have learned to thrive <laughs> and abound even in a prison. Kwe gamba, oh, 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 oh
okufuna chenzi jamu echirunje cha manyi nga nsibidwa nga mpulira nkugidwa nga mpulira ndimo komera nene nkozese komera eri nga platform nene ninya ne mbako jengenze to abound in a place that i feel i'm bound or in prison but i use that plus but that prison to st- as a stepping stone to go to another place as i listen to what jesus is saying hallelujah Amen. hallelujah but rosa wesa ngandi sina chenzo bula kola nonya katonda every time you find yourself wo mero katonda wo every time you find it you have nothing to do enjoy your god today olwa lero we cast out every regret every imagination and we embrace what is new era to tonyo egera echechipya One Samuel chapter 15 verse 29 says And also the glory of Israel will not lie or have regret for he is not a man that he can regret The one seated in the inside of you The one who is called the glory of Israel does not regret kubanga si mwana wa muntu for is not a son of man no recho nawe to ina kwejusa therefore you also you should not regret kubanga ali mugwe because the one in you teyejusa does not regret bai bega manti yakubibwa kumusa yakubibwa the bible said that he was stricken na yambulwa and was made naked na vumibwa and abused na swazibwa and ashamed na ina atunuleli but he looked aside yo nane bibange bitaliwo though and, and as though everything was not happening ngaloza kuchitibwa but lo, while thinking about the glory chagendo kufuna mumaso it was going to achieve echitibwa cha isira chitibwa cha isira ile the glory of israel teyejusa he does not regret oh, Uganda yo yatude munda mugwe so when we seated in the inside he does not regret he was stricken but was moving going to go neba muwandulira marusu nasigalanga atambula baton but he moved forward going to go gosa neba muvuma nasigalanga atambula was a build but he moved on going to go gosa golu nakuralelo yambala omuntu oyo put on that man chitiba cha israel the glory of israel Petero yamugamba Peter told him go forth ya how can you die na mugama nzire mabega nzire mabega gwe petero get behind me peter oli na sitani you are even that devil you say just such chitange che yande ta kola ku si don't regret what my father sent me to do now go li kumunimo we just you are on your job regret go li kubuereza we just in a ministry regret na ye ye but he yagano kwe just he refused to regret petero na mugama mukama wange peter told him master Tetu sobola kule kakufa. We cannot let you die. Na mugama nzire mabega sitani. Don't get behind me Satan. Mission ni no jitu ukiriza. I must accomplish the mission. Chimanyi nti etisa. I know it is terrible. Chimanyi nti eswasa. I know it is a shame. Na esije jusa. But I will not regret it. Katonda wa kutadete we jusa ngao. Don't regret where God has put you. What you mission in Jaya Galo to Kitty There is a mission he wants you to accomplish. Genda mumaso. Move forward. Chitiba cha Israel. The glory of Israel. Teyejusa. He does not regret. Gotoringa abantu abantu abalala. You not like other people. Atudde mugwe. The one in inside si of you. Simwejusi. Is not a regretter. atudde mugwe the one in you ne bwasinka ne mbere nzibu even if he miss a difficult situation asigala agenda mu maso he still moves forward tale kabana ba bantu he does not let the sons of men kumuletera kwe jusa to cause him regret obaya tuka mbobu yinza na mamugamba simanyoli kabaka if he stood before the, the council and they asked him are you a king na gamba mwe mocho get they say you've said it akoke kandi badaka said akogamba njimanange enze siri that would have been the right moment to say i am not 
I don't know why they call me that. But he refused to regret. Brethren, today we are casting away the spirit of regret and cast him for good. There is a new direction for a new day and a new hour and that hour is now despite what you are going through Jesus is still speaking and he wants to listen and he wants you to listen but instead of praying we are regretting mother had the chance to dialogue with God but even when God was telling her, he will rise again. He said, yes, I know on the day of resurrection. Because her spirit was so full of, of, of regret. Today, God has something new for us. And we cast out every form of regret in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I don't know the cause of your regret. I don't know what has caused you to regret. Your business, the business you began and failed. The ministry you're in. The marriage you're in. The children you give birth I to. I don't know what you're regretting. But that might be your platform for you to go into what you're expecting. Because the plan of the Lord is to take you where you expect. That's what he said in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. A future you hope for. Hallelujah. Amen. Not what you don't hope for. But if you are where you don't, you are in a place that you don't hope for. You are in a place that you don't hope for. The same way Joseph was in the prison. It is a door. It is a testimony. It is a platform to go where you are going. Do not regret the platform. You do not, do not regret the door. All things work out together for good. And whatever was meant for evil, God has turned it out into good. There is no evil situation that does not change our lives. Let us regret evil. Let us regret sin. And let us not regret circumstances. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. I will stop here. Today. We are going to cast out every spirit of regret. To move in regret. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we are moving forward. The glory of Israel does not regret. That is the word of God for you today. He sits in you and he doesn't regret. Hallelujah. Amen. For every person that I meant, even the ones that wronged me, I'm grateful, Lord. For every person that mistreated me, I'm grateful, God. Maybe I wouldn't be where I am, but I'm there because I went through some things. For every place that I was at, I am grateful, God. If Ruth, Ruth had not left uh, Moab, after the death of her husband, she would not have found a, a godly man in, in Judah. She would not have gone into the lineage of Jesus. Let us celebrate what we have been through. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Regret is a hindrance to your Christian work. It slows down your success. It affects your communication with Jesus. And it shuts down your ears. 
to the voice of God. And it's difficult to be an intercessor when you are moving in regret. Determine how, how best you can move forward without encountering the same situations. Without being hurt again. Without, without being abused again. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't walk in regret. Regret hampers creativity. You come into a place where you cannot even think for yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's stop here. Let's build our altars. I know today's word has touched you. Zimba altar. Build an altar. In the place where God has spoken to you like Jacob. Hallelujah. Amen. Just embrace this word. Take it. And cast out regret. I may not know what something, why something has happened, but God knows. And with God, all things work out for good. Joseph progressed and progressed and progressed. In Potiphar's house, he progressed. In the prison, he progressed. In, in, in the palace, he progressed because he was not hampered with regret. Look at Eve. Now we not They put you in a garden, there is everything, every kind of tree, and but the devil comes and whispers and says, Why is it that that particular tree you cannot eat from it? And then you begin to regret. She began to regret and entered into sin and stole because she regretted. There are people who are murdering because of regret. There are people who are copying because of regret. You regret who you are. You, are, you regret where God has put you. No. There is a reason for everything. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's time to give to Karamoja. Hallelujah. As we build our altars on this word. Let's, let's see what's happening in Karamoja. As you can see, that is food. It's not soil. That is food we planted. We are have, we've harvested it now. And we have put it in bags. Hallelujah. Amen. And we've given it to the poor. And we are planting again. There are many poor people who have received food. We can't show you all the areas because of time. But Pastor Kanya usually shows different areas. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we are planting right now. And all the money that you give will go towards sowing seed. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we know that he who gives to the poor lends to the Lord. And the Lord says he will repay him. God is about to give you exceedingly. Abundantly. So much more than we can think of. Or even ask for. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is so good. So let's pray. Build your altar. Put your sacrifice. When Jacob 
when God talked to Jacob, he built an altar in the place that God had spoken to him. Hallelujah. If you have heard the voice of God, build your altar sacrifice. The number is on the screen for those of you who are giving from without. Let, let's pray. Father in heaven, we want to thank you today as we bring our seed as we build our altar we cast out every form of regret we listen to your word you have a new word a new voice a new direction and we thank you master for this word father we refuse to surrender to depression we will go forward in the name of Jesus we embrace the new and we believe that today is a better day, day than yesterday. Father, every regrettable circumstance in our lives is about to become a platform for something bigger and something greater. We intend to go forward in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, for those of us who are giving our tithes and offerings, open the windows of heaven. Rebuke the devourer of our sins. For those of us who are giving tears, may we return and reap in joy. For those of us, who are sowing in famine. May we reap a hundredfold. For those of us, Lord, who have sowed a seed today, may there be multiplication. May men give unto us good measure, pressed down, shaken together, shall they give unto our bosoms. And Father, as we have given to the poor, we have lent to you. Father, repay us with interest in the name of Jesus. We have prayed. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The number is on the screen for those who are giving from outside. I'm going to ask the, the worship team to give us a, a song of worship and praise. See how far you brought us. Yes, I'm so glad you found me worthy. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace on my days. I will sing your praise. Oh. And I know it's your grace all my days. I will sing your grace. Oh, oh, oh. see how far you grow. I'm so glad you found me worthy.
so glad you found me where 